That's in stark contrast with the US, where diesels have never been as popular as here, and this segment is full of vehicles with turbo petrol four-cylinder engines, like the Chevrolet Colorado, GMC Canyon, the latest Toyota Tacoma, and the Ford Ranger. The latter is the Amarok's twin under the skin, and indeed this 2.3-liter turbo petrol four is a Ford engine that shares its bones with the 2.3L mil powering the Mustang High Performance and Focus Saint. It's available exclusively in top-spec Aventura guys, priced from $79,990 before on-road costs. You can get the same trim level but with a 3.0-liter turbo diesel V6 for the same price. There are no direct rivals with petrol power, though the more focused Ranger Raptor is $86,790 before on-road costs, and packs a twin-turbo petrol V6. If you're already spending this much money on a ute, you might well be tempted picking up the very clearly X-Ford key fob for the Amarok. You might think this is going to be a Ranger with some Volkswagen badges slapped on, or perhaps an almost imperceptible interior, restyling a Libya Suzu D-Max's transition to a Mazda BT-50. That couldn't be further from the truth, with Volkswagen having styled an almost completely unique interior, that's arguably the best looking in this segment. But in giving the Amarok a more Volkswagen feel, the German brand has sacrificed some of the more practical touches of its Ford cousin. Gone is the little nook that can fit a McDonald's fries packet, as well as the pop-out cup holders on either side of the dash. Volkswagen's take on cup holders is less user-friendly than Ford's. There's still a pair on the center console but they're a bit small and awkwardly sized. More bothersome is the removal of the physical climate controls at the base of the touchscreen, which makes adjusting these settings more cumbersome. To do so, you can use voice commands which work well, and feature a posh English lady replying to you, or you can press shortcut buttons on the touchscreen, 